What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and we asked for a new event, a new content, and well, Netmarble's listening, and they gave us a little something. So here we have the new Shizu event that's similar to the Mecha Guinness and Shizuru event. This is a place where we're going to be able to acquire cards. Now, let's take a look at these cards. So these new cards will actually give you an increased attack by 33% in total. You get 7% attack per each card, which is 21% altogether. And then you get an extra 12% attack, which is 33%. Then you get an extra 10% attack whenever you're tagging in for 7 seconds, which is a total of 43% extra attack. This is like a, a weak version of the Serena set because one, it's not a Fest set. It's not going to have much C it's not going to have as much CP as that as the Fest sets. But it's still a pretty decent set, especially for newer players trying to get cards. Uh, for us veterans, this is the card set that we're just going to get really as a collector item. Or we're just going to use as fodder because we don't really need them. You know, the Fest sets are still going to be more powerful. Especially if you have the Serena set. But this is a pretty good set. It really is. Uh, I think it's the best set so far, depending on the situation. But very happy to see it. And if you notice, and I'll go ahead and move my camera here. With the new Saizu event, you need to use Balance Type Fighters, Defensive Type Fighters, and Attack Type Fighters. And those of you that are really familiar with Saizu from the Epic Quest, this is something that you have to do in Epic Quest also. So when we click on here, I've actually cleared this once because I actually made this video once, but has some technical difficulties, so I got to do it again. So some tips for this thing is, one, you don't have to worry about what color character you're using. There is no color advantage or disadvantage here, so it doesn't matter what color you use. The next tip is have a team that is balance type, attack, and defensive fighters. Another tip would be is to make sure you're using healing strikers. Now, the best striker really for this event, in my opinion, is Swimsuit Mai. And the reason is because Swimsuit Mai actually makes you immune to fire damage for 10 seconds and gives you a heal which is pretty massive, guys. That's really important for this because that's how Shizu defeats you. He does a lot of burn and he can melt your bars down to nothing. And then 98 Athena is also an insane healing striker. Rio there's a healer. Mecha Guinness is a healer. Uh, you have Ash. <clears throat> you have Ash who gives super armor and a heal. You have Orochi Yashiro who gives super armor and a heal. There's all kinds of characters that give heals. These are really, really great characters that you can use uh, to do this. Now, you need 24,000 CP to be able to accomplish this. And with a level 20 Jeanette, no capsules and no imprint stones, I do have almost 28,000 CP, and that's with a Leah set. Now, I'm only using a level 25 super. If I leveled that up, we'd gain a little bit more CP. If I put another card in this slot, we'd gain even more CP. But as you're going to see, you don't need it. Another tip that for this event is... If you use characters that have CC effects, characters with stuns, freeze, uh, petrify, like pretty zero, uh, even the fear from Nightmare Geese, it's really going to make your life a lot easier because you can actually control Shizu and his mobs that are coming around you. And if you're able to CC him, you pretty much can just lock him down and defeat him. Now, some characters are better than others for this. I mean, Pretty Zero is going to be insane because she can just petrify. And if you have an awakened skill, pop, 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 pop. Every time you hit the third skill, you're going to petrify Saizu and you're going to be able to destroy him. Uh, Jeanette here has a similar thing where she can freeze using her third skill. It's guaranteed freeze. It's not a core effect, nothing like that. So whenever you're using this character, you can just constantly freeze Shizu, which is pretty damn awesome. Plus, she's just a tank of a character. Builds up her PG really well. And, you know, another tip is having a team with some synergy. You know, in this team, Jeanette does give PG rate to all of the green fighters and attack boost to all of these fighters. You don't really need to worry about PG so much in this event. Uh, really, just having extra attack would be better. But I want a team with synergy, so I just opted to go for this. You can use, like I said, you can use any color you want. Just make sure you use a balance type, an attack type, and a defensive fighter. Unless, of course, maybe you're a veteran like me and it really doesn't even matter what you use. Just bring in a five-star character that's maxed out, maxed out imprint stones, and just destroy it. I mean, it, it really is a pretty easy event. And if we jump in here, what you're looking for is, you're looking for Shizu to let you know what 
uh, you need to be using against them, whether it's attack, defensive, or balance type fighter. And that's exactly what I'm going to be paying attention to. So up in the top of the screen, they'll put up a text showing us what we need to be using. So right now it says defensive fighter. So we're going to use Elizabeth here. And Elizabeth is just one star, right? I mean, she's not... Oh, I should have used my 5PG there. Damn. Let's go, girl. Okay, so now he's switching up shop. Defensive fighter again, huh? Okay. So he just went ahead and stayed it to where we need to use a defensive fighter. If it said if he said attack, then we switch to an attack type fighter. We switch to Meliodas. Let's go. And guys, you see how easy this is. I mean, this is pretty much a catwalk. Oh, let's get out of there. Let's get out of there. Come on, let's get out of there. There we go. And, you know, if you do get some burn applied to you, as soon as you attack, as soon as you hit Saisu, the burn will disappear. Then you can also bring in your healer. Whoops. I missed that. Okay. Okay, so now we need to use an attack type fighter. Oh, watch out. Now we need to avoid all this. Shit. Whoops. Let's go. Me a little pecker. And we'll use our 3PG. And melt them. And again, guys, it doesn't matter what characters you use. I mean, just make sure you use the right types. Oh, you're in a world of hurt, buddy. Easy, guys. Easy, clear. None of these characters have imprint stones on them. None of them. If this Meliodas was one star, we'd still be able to easily do this. You saw the damage that one star Elizabeth was doing. Now, she does have capsules on her, but even if she was just one star, guys, you wouldn't need those capsules. Now, let me show you something else. So, now, we're not even going to switch our character. We're just going to use the CC effect. And again, I mean, if you were using Geese, Geese 14, with his stun on second skill, and you had your awakened skill, you could spam the stun, right? Characters that you can spam their CC effects are really going to be amazing here. So, I'll just go ahead and freeze, oh boy. They're asking for attack type, right? But say I don't have an attack. And say I just want to use one character. Well, if you have a CC character like Jeanette, right? Or you have a Pretty Zero. You can easily... And now you're not going to be doing as much damage because you're not using the right type fighter here. But because we're freezing, oh boy. He can't do a thing, right? He can't do a thing. Another tip whenever you're facing this boss is... Every time those mobs come out, those white bosses, whenever you do your super, you want to you use your super and kill those guys as fast as you can because if you don't, Shizu will do his super. And if you're not able to dodge it, you're going to take quite a bit of damage from this guy. And you see, you just keep on freezing, old boys. Crazy, right? Easy. We need an attack, but who cares? We don't need it. This is something else that's nice about Jeanette is she does so many hits with that first skill. It just locks him in place and deals a crap ton of damage. Okay, get out of there. So now we need balance type. So now Jeanette's actually got the, she's the right typing. So now we're going to do an insane amount of damage to this guy. So you don't even need like to have different type fighters. You can use one, especially if they just got a lot of CC or they're just really damn strong. And you can just plow through this. Now you can see he's got an attack type icon around him. Which means that he's going to be taking less damage from Jeanette now because she's a balanced type fighter. But even so, it might take longer. 
Oh, crap. It might take longer, but you still can do it. Piece of cake, guys. I mean, it's just... It's this easy, especially with someone like Jeanette. And man, if I was using Pretty Zero, I'd be doing the same thing. I would just be plowing on my Petrify over and over and over. Okay, now we need to avoid those balls. And go down here, up here. Come on, Sizu, come at me. Thank you. And this is the nice thing about, you know, the freeze and the petrify and the stuns. I mean, even if you have Shane, right, from the Seven Knights. And it's over. It's that easy. This really is an easy event, but it's nice to see Netmarble listening to us and giving us some new content. I'm actually very happy about that. And I do think this new card set is actually really good. For a free-to-play set... That you can always get in this game. That's going to be a really good set for Guild Raid. It's going to be a really good set for Spider Robot. I mean, you're not going to build up your PG as fast as what you would with the Serena set. You're not going to have as much CP as you would on the Serena set. But it's still a good set. 33% extra attack is nothing to laugh at. And getting that extra 10% attack whenever you're tagging in for 7 seconds is actually really good. So I'm pretty happy with this. I hope we see some more content that's actually more difficult and really more in-game content especially for the veterans because as i mentioned in previous videos you know games can get pretty stale and boring if you're playing the same content over and over and over and over so hopefully we'll get some new content in the future that's going to be much more challenging for us that we can use all these freaking ridiculously op five-star characters on so let me know how y'all feeling about the Shizu event. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.